Hello everyone, welcome back. First thing I need to do is apologize for the first two videos I put up. I had a friend of mine do the editing. He put them up for me because I had me out of town. I really wanted to get those videos out there, so I let him do it. When I got back, I looked at them. I realized when I zoomed in on them, some stuff got out of frame. Uh, I don't like it, but they're, they're already out there. There's a lot of good information in them anyway, but that being as may, I don't have time to take them down and redo them. I will, again, I'll apologize from now on. I'm going to do my own middle editing. You know the old saying, if you want something done right, do it yourself. So be it. Now, what we're dealing with today is shapes. In the world of art, there are two different types of shapes. The first ones we're going to deal with today <coughs> are our geometric shapes. These are the ones we were taught in school. Now, the first one is the square. I'll use a rule for this so I get everything nice and perfect. The square is a square And I'm using my cover sheet. Aren't you proud of me? And as we know, that's a square. If you want to know if it's a perfect square or not, you can draw a diagonal line through the middle, measure each one. If they're not the same length, it's not a square. The second one we deal with is the basic circle. Saw them in that world of art, unless you're doing graphic art design, does everything have to be perfect? Then you have the triangle. There is such a thing as an equilateral triangle. That's one which all sides are exactly the same length. Then you got the trapezoids. Now last but not least, there is the rectangle. Well, I didn't get them straight, did I? I've been shaking here lately. I don't know why. I guess I need to go to the doctor to see what's going on. I feel okay. Maybe I'm just getting older. And that's your rectangle. They are called geometric shape because if I take any of these objects 
and I draw a line down the middle. The left side is exactly the same as the right side. In the world of art, we say the right side mirrors the left side. Now, <coughs> there is such a thing as shape with, now if you take a square, and lay it on the side, we create a diamond shape. All these shapes are made out of other things, such as a circle is the ellipse. We can take these basic shapes and other shapes, if it, let me back up a little bit, if it is not a geometric shape, it is called a generic shape. If I draw a coffee cup, It's not a generic shape, left side, not the right side. If I draw a pumpkin, it is also not a geometric shape. Anything that is geometric is generic. If I draw a simply squiggly shape like that, like that, That is generic shape. Now there's lots of other geometric shapes than what I drew out. There's the polygon, the hexagon. All this stuff like that is dealt primarily in the world of graphic is art design. What we drew here was your square, your rectangle, your triangle, your trapezoid, and your rectangle, these are primarily shapes that we deal with. I got several pictures here that we're going to take and we're going to see what the shapes are inside of them. First I have good old Donald Duck. Not these sharpie today. Uh, one is a fine line, one is a thicker line. I don't know how long they're going to last because when the tip is posed, I think they're going to pretty much dry out quickly. So let's take Donald here and let's break him down into a simple, basic shape that he's made of. First, you've got the head. It's round, basically round. Then you got the beak. It's pretty much a trapezoid. You got the neck. It breaks down into a rectangle. Then you got this part here. It's more or less a trapezoid. You got the tie. It's an oval. Then you got another oval. This piece across here. It's round. You got the eyes. They're an oval. You got the pupil. They're an oval. You got the sleeve. The first part breaks down into a trapezoid. 
you got the oval inside of it, you got this part of the hand, that's a trapezoid, and on the outside of the finger, it pretty much breaks down into a trapezoid, then you got this part here, a triangle, got this part of triangle, round, you got a rectangle here, you got a triangle, you got the hat which is an oval in here, another oval, you got another oval, this entire duck be broken down in the basic shape. You got this part here, this is a trapezoid, this here is an oval, you got an arm, you break it down into a basic triangle, it parts another trapezoid, his body is an oval, if part of his legs here is a trapezoid or rectangle, this is a rectangle. His foot, bring it down. It's more like a triangle. You got his tail, it breaks down into a triangle. Of course, the button, go around down, they're, they're an oval, you got this part here is a square, you got the tie, it's no trapezoid, this completes a trapezoid or a rectangle, and you got Donald Duck, and I got another one here, this one's Minnie Mouse. We know many, at least most of it does. Turn top to bottom, bottom, you got her little tiara. It's a rectangle. You got diamond, circle, another circle, another circle, a circle, a circle, a diamond, and a trapezoid. Her ear, is an oval. This one's an oval. Her head, basically, is a circle. You got this part here. That can be called a triangle. You got the oval for the eyes. Pupil, pupil, oval. Her nose is an oval. Break down her. This is a triangle. This is a trapezoid. This is another trapezoid. Got her shoulder, which is more or less in her oval shape. This is a trapezoid. You got an oval for her wrist. This one's into a triangle. Her finger was another triangle. Her dress. First part comes down like this. It's a triangle. Then you got a half a circle. Arm. Trapezoid, oval, it forms another trapezoid, thumb is an oval, and that's basically many mouths. Now, we got one more that's going to be a lot of fun here. This here is a set of mount mountains, and it's pretty complicated. You got all kinds of shapes, but we let's see what we do about breaking down. 
First off, we got the mountain in the front. Well, it's a triangle. Got the peak of this mountain. It's a triangle. Got another one. It's another triangle. Then the here is more triangle shape. Lower peak here. You got another one. There are mountain here. All these are basically triangle shaped. This part here, you call that basically a triangle, a trapezoid rather. The Christmas tree in front, that's a triangle. You got the little house in front of it. If you go around a roof line, like so, you got a rectangle. This part of the roof is not a rectangle. This part of the roof is not a rectangle. Then you got the side here. That's a rectangle. You got another rectangle here. A square here. You got a little square looking thing here. Got another piece here. It's another square. This part here forms a triangle. Then you got a trapezoid. This is the line of the roof. I'm going to break this down simply. Here's a trapezoid. You got a rectangle. Another rectangle. Another rectangle. Little squares for the windows. Now I'll go back up to the mountain and we'll break it down a little bit more. And we're going to call it good. There's tons of shapes inside here, but you get the general idea. This forms no rectangle. You got no rectangle up. You got this forms a rectangle here. This forms more of a trapezoid kind of shape. This here's another shape. You got this big section here. We can sit there and break this whole thing down into nothing but basic shapes. You got this round here. And so on, so on, so on. You got to shake the shadow. Or diamond shape. And that's it for now. That's your shape. We got one more here and we'll break down. It's a little picture of a ballerina. We'll break our shape and we'll call her. Her head. It'll break down a circle. Then you got a triangle. Like here, you got her neck, you got her bun is a circle, you got another bun here is a circle, you got this part here of her shoulders, that's a trapezoid, her arm, rectangle, another rectangle. And this breaks down into a nerve trapezoid. Go around the outside of fingers. That forms a triangle. That's a square. That's a nerve triangle. Arm the same way. You got the shoulder, which is an oval. You got this part of the shoulder. It comes down, it's a trapezoid, this is a rectangle, this is a triangle. This breaks down into broad shape like that, you can first break it down into a triangle shape, 
in their spinal shape. Their body forms basically two trapezoids. Like this, bring down like that. Your two two broken down into a simple trapezoid. This part here, trapezoid. This part here, another trapezoid. This breaks down into more triangle shape. Another trapezoid, like so, then this breaks down into a smaller trapezoid. This leg here, the same thing. You got a rectangle. You got a trapezoid. You got a triangle. Another trapezoid. And you got finally another trapezoid. Everything that you're going to draw can be drawn into basic shapes and redefine this into other more complicated shapes. If I want to take a rectangle, like so, I can draw another rectangle inside of it. Like so. And I'm not using the cover sheet. Then I go another time inside of it. I have shapes. And I got shapes within those shapes. There are shapes inside this. This could be a piece of jewelry on a uh, female lady dragon. Lady dragons might have some bling. Uh, it could be a picture. It's whatever you want. Now, let's draw a very simple landscape come of just very simple geometric shapes. We'll draw a triangle. Another triangle. And another triangle, like so. You draw a horizon line, like so. Now we draw a little loose shape, like so. That's going to be our lake. Now, let's break this up a little bit. We'll draw a little dotted line down through here. Another dotted line down through here. And one through here. And we're going to lake. And I'm going to leave it at that. It's just simple, makes it shaped, and turn it into a landscape drawing. And let's just give it a little bit of sky up here so we have some interest to it. Something very simple. And we can put in the water.
we might take this uh, horizon line and kind of break it up a little bit, like so. Grass, what do you want to call it? These mountains are way too formed, so let's make them kind of jagged, like so. Ooh, that's some interest to it. I'm just putting some straight contour lines here and there. Add a little bit of shading here. Not a whole lot. We made some lines darker than others. I'll use cross contour lines for this one. And we have a very simple, very uncomplicated uh, landscape drawing. Go back in here and redefine these. You may not want that in there. I think it looks better without them. But you get the general idea now about shapes, about generic, and geometric. You can make this water a little bit darker if you want. Anything on the mountain has to be in the water. It doesn't look right. And that concludes this. Thank you. And I want you to practice what we did today. And practice drawing some uh, geometric shapes. Try to do some uh, generic shapes. Uh, one, two, you can draw a lamp with nothing more generic uh, geometric shape. You start off with a trapezoid, like that. Then you can draw your 
and ellipse like so. Put your stem on it, and you got your lamps. You refine this further by putting a top on this, like so. Make this more curved. Make this more curved. You can make this flat and a little shading. And contour lines you want. And that's what I want you to do, is draw some simple stuff out like that. You get your pictures out. Well, online, you can get pictures of Donald Duck. You can get uh, dancers. You can get mountains. You can get all kinds of pictures out there. Get you a pen. If you got Photoshop or you got Corel Draw, you can do all this with your brush and turn off your different layers. Let me see what it's made of. All you do is just draw your generic, your geometric shapes, turn them into uh, generic shapes, then you add different, then you just start adding your different layers to it, gradually defining these until the shapes that you want to get. That's it for this, it today. So long until next time.